You know those slideshow videos for real estate listings that are actually just some photos with digital zooms? I've never offered them in my services because they are so dry compared to cinematic videos I shoot with my gimbal. But recently I saw something that caught my eye. It was an AI generated video made from photos with realistic camera movements, dynamic visual hooks, and animated objects cut to trendy music. The platform is called Realty.io, and being invite only, I got connected through a friend to start testing it out. So in this video, I'll show you how to create with Realty from start to finish, and share my thoughts on what it does well and where it could be better. And at the end, I'll be sharing some interesting use cases, plus real feedback from my clients. So without further ado, let's get started. So opening up the dashboard in Realty, one thing I can appreciate is the simplicity of the dashboard. Here I can see all my projects, and if I wanna start a new project, I can start up top here with Google Drive, Dropbox, or upload them straight from my computer. Once all the files are queued, you can select up to 20 photos to render per video. But be sure to choose between portrait and landscape here because once it's rendered, you can't change the orientation. And if you're using portrait, then be sure to use the crop to center the frame on the photo. Now, optionally, you can select up to three photos and add VFX. And personally, I think this is one of the features that makes Realty really stand out, these hook graphics. And it's the number one comment I got from my clients that they really liked about the videos. My favorites are the earth zoom, the house drop, the time lapse, and the data nights. Now with your VFX selected, just hit render. So as the video renders, you can watch the progress in real time. Videos here render in a few minutes, which is fast compared to other tools. And now that it's done, we can see that Realty's generated six different video versions from their library of music. These reels are gonna range from the faster cuts with more speed ramps, and these are better for social media, to the longer and more mellower style edits that are better for MLS. And off the bat, looking at these renders, I just wanna point out the realistic quality of these videos. It's definitely disappointing to try out a new hyped AI tool and have the results not look like the demo, so Realty definitely delivers in that regard. Plus, I really appreciate the subtle ways that these images come to life. For example, fireplaces get lit, cars drive, people walk, water flows, all while maintaining a realistic feel right out of the gate. Now, my typical process in the post dashboard is to start with the edit all tab at the top. From this menu, I can reorder all the clips at once and they'll have a consistent order in all the videos throughout. I tend to like to stack all my VFX at the beginning of the video because this is when you wanna hook the viewer and get the max engagement. From here, I can also upload client branding and you have to have that uploaded, which I'll show you how to do in just a minute. Now on the far left, you also get the option to re-render up to three clips at a time. I've really only needed to re-render clips in two scenarios. The first is VFX clips because sometimes they just have a lot of variation in how they're rendered or I'd just rather try a different result. Now the other case is when the AI hallucinates and makes something look unrealistic. In my testing, hallucinations happened rarely, but the strangest one I got was a balcony view that changed from a tree to a city skyline. The other common issue is when people or cars are involved, then they'll walk through walls and stuff like that. In this case, I had the wrong house dropping, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and re-render this clip. We can also go in and customize individual reels if we wanna change the music, add text. So I'm gonna click on edit here. And as you can see, the timeline is laid out with the clips in the middle, the text is on top here, and then the music is showing on the bottom. Now I feel like the interface is pretty intuitive. You can just drag and drop clips. If you hit the minus here, it's gonna to go to your far right and it's gonna be hidden. And then as for music, when you go to browse, you can choose from your favorites. You have all music, which are stock songs provided by Realty, and you can do my uploads, which is in a different menu. So if you wanna to get to that, you're gonna to have to cancel, close this out, and then go to your assets. And from this menu, this is where you can upload music. Also to the right here, you can see that you have the branding tab, and this is where you can create new brands and upload your clients and video animations. Now back in our timeline, one thing to point out is that you can't modify the duration or trim the start and end of the music. So if you wanna do that, I recommend that you trim it in QuickTime before uploading. And lastly, at the top here, you can see that we have the text overlay. And so here you can choose from a couple templates type in the text that you want, and then drag it over the clips that you want. Now from here, you can hit save changes and it's gonna re-render that specific version and give you a polished result. Now, as a video editor, at times I find myself wishing for more native features inside the platform. And I've talked at length about this with their founder, Lucas, who I gotta say I'm impressed with his dev team as they've shipped results like the text and the custom music pretty recently. So I feel confident that the features are going to continue to improve in the future. That said, Realty's goal is to keep the platform intuitive and ultimately just increase your margins. So if you wanna create a cinematic masterpiece, you can actually just download the clips by going next to this download six reels button, clicking on your download 20 clips, 
and then open them up in your NLE and create your cinematic masterpiece. So now that you've seen how it works, let's talk about some use cases. I think this product will add the most value to lower budget packages for properties that didn't used to justify the additional cost of shooting video. But this could also be seen as a gateway product because now those clients who didn't used to see the value of video, maybe when they get a nicer listing, they'll order a higher end package. In terms of just practical time saving, this could save you a trip back to a property if you missed a video shot. Or for virtually staged properties, you can now have a video that brings those images to life. I could also see this replacing the vertical video add-on where we'd reformat horizontal footage and now we can just generate those reels using Realty. But what I think makes this product a no-brainer is the pricing. With the minimum subscription, you get five listings for $75 a month, which depending on your market could be resold from 75 to 150 per video. That means for at roughly $15 per video, you get 80 to 90% profit margin, and that price per unit goes down as you increase quantity. I've even seen offers reselling these AI listing packages for $200 to $300, and they position it as a package with multiple versions. Now, without the subscription, a single video costs $49, which still makes it profitable if you're just testing out the waters. So to close this one out, at risk of sounding like a Realty fanboy, I do think they've hit a home run with this product. As a business owner, a low labor, high margin product that could increase your order value by 10 to 20% per listing without additional time on site is simply a no brainer. The only reason this wouldn't make sense is if you like leaving money on the table. And if you think that AI reels will replace your standard listing videos, I just don't think that's the case. In my experience with the new generative video models, the demand for creativity and higher end videos just keeps growing as well. For example, check out this golf shot hook that I edited recently by generating the transitions in Kling. Of course, the ultimate test isn't what I think, but what the paying clients think. So I'll end this video with some screenshots showing their feedback. And if you wanna try out Realty, you can use my link below to get exclusive access and one free listing. Also, early adopters get grandfathered pricing, so now's a great time if you're curious. Lastly, if you want access to in-depth training resources for all things real estate media, then head over to fulltimerep.com. If it's a good fit, I'd love for you to join our growing community of creators. But that's it for now, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.